Dreallday.com. Hey, it's Maria. I'm a strength and conditioning coach as well as Dre All Day's trainer. I'm answering specific questions you guys have written in on certain topics. And this question comes from somebody that has jumper knee pain as well as patellar tendon for over one year. It's, is it possible to heal from this patellar, patellar tendonitis? I cannot say that word. Because the pain is occurring during warm up and doing squats or starting to run. And after the workout, he has massive pain. Yes, you can definitely recover from this, but you also have to stop if you're feeling pain during the workouts that you're doing. You've got to look at what you are doing. Your form is probably way off and you're probably um, not warming up appropriately with the correct exercises. So look at what you're doing. If you're jumping right into the workout and your muscles are not prepared or they're not strong enough, you're probably going to experience that type of pain. The other thing is form. Your form, your form, your form. I can't express it enough. You guys have to get proper form on your squats, on your lunges, and this transitions into running, jumping, landing. So if, you're, if your muscles in your knees and your hips and your joints are not performing properly because your form is off, it's going to cause pain and eventually result in a serious injury. So look at your form on your squats. Um, one thing that I love to suggest in proper squatting form is to go up to a wall, stand in front of the wall, place your toes right up against the wall in a shoulder width or hip distance stance with your feet and put your hands behind your head. As you have them there, make sure your nose and your chest does not touch the wall and go down into a deep squat. Your weight should be in your heels so that there's no pressure into the front of the foot because that could be causing some of the patellar pain that you're experiencing. Uh, you want to make sure that you are activating the right muscles in your glutes, hamstrings, and keeping your core engaged and your back straight at all times. So doing proper squats will transition into your running, your jumping, your landing, and that will help prevent the injury. So work on that. Also work on your flexibility because possibly your muscles are tight around your knees and it also goes into your piriformis. So you want to make sure that your outer thighs and your hips are really staying loose and active so that you can um, perform efficiently. So hopefully that answers your question and helps you to work on your game. Go ahead and check out my website at groovysweat.com. Like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.